Yo, Chaos Squadron, it's your host, Shadow Terios. How you living? And welcome to another Chaos Stream. Make sure there's... Okay, making sure that my system is working and I actually remember to fix my microphone because, of course, I had therapy today and oh, what a session it was. But it, it's all good. It's definitely one of those times when it was uh, realizing some things was painful, but it was silver lining i'm learning things and i'm growing so it, it's all good it's all good um but anyway so we are finally at my favorite part of birth by sleep and i say that because i'm now getting to start playing as my favorite character out of this trio i love her to death i talk about her all the time definitely one of my favorite characters in the entire franchise and it's a good thing too because i'm about to be playing as her for a long time she get a lot more screen time <laughs> in this game and another game even than both terra and ventus combined in the entirety of birth by sleep and i am of course talking about the best character with this name in existence as far as i know aqua i'm so hyped to finally start playing her scenario. I think she has the best of both worlds when it comes to combat. She's faster than Terra, but she is still able to hit pretty good. Um, and um, she has the magic out the wazoo. She has the better block. She has just the better, the better, in my opinion, the better um, command styles, even her personal um, command style is like super good to the point where they even kept it for Kingdom Hearts 3 and the uh, Fragment Toy Passage and so I'm ready to get in here and start fucking shit up. I know normally Mondays I do uh, get you with the get your mommies but um, some of them are not available some of them are really tired and honestly I got some news from one of my friends today that was really really upsetting so that along with having a rough time at therapy I was like you know what I'm kind of glad that we're not doing it today because I really want to do something that like I'm super, 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 super waiting to do. And that's going to be playing this game. So let's go ahead and get into it. I am starting to think about trying to go back to having somewhat of a schedule. I haven't fully decided on it yet, but it's something to send my thoughts. Because I am reading in some uh, circles that it's really helpful to have a schedule so people can kind of know um, when I'm live or when I'm going to be. This is what my job makes it kind of hard to do so. But that's another reason why I'm thinking that maybe that is a profession that I might need to change up a little bit. So. Because having a better, consistent profession will make it easier for me to live my life the way I really need to live it. That's healthy for me mentally and physically. We shall see. Of course, I'm not going to do that until after I do secure another job, though. I'm definitely not stupid. Oh, wait, wrong thing. Yo, what's up, Kaja? Thanks for coming to the cinema. Yeah, we need to skip the opening cutscene. We already did this. Oh, I'm so excited to finally play as Aqua. I'm so hyped. Favorite character in this game. That's another reason why I was like, yo, if I don't end up doing get to today and i get to play king of hearts cool because i get to look at and play as my queen when it comes to king of hearts the keyblade master herself and i saw a spoiler alert because y'all already know i'm going going back back to cali cali <laughs> ah she's so awesome i'm so hyped let's get it on what up girlfriend Not gonna lie, I'm gonna go ahead and skip these because literally we, we know this cutscene. Yeah. 
But even her combos are pretty good, because, like, she gets good distance. Oh yeah, her finish is also really good. Woo! Oh yeah. We about to get it in. Hey, congrats. So I guess we're both doing wedding soon, huh? <laughs> that was unexpected. But one must keep a still heart even in the moment. I'll let this one play out just because it's still it was an pretty cool test. to watch. One I chose to let unfold. Which brings us to your next trial. Now, I messed directly while Terra I was going anyway. The two of you will face each other in combat. Remember, there are no winners, only truths. For when equal powers clash, their nature is revealed. Begin! <laughs> Let my homies know that I loved him and missed him. Ah, get out of here. Me too. I'm going to be a groomsman. Let's go. Evil. We have deliberated and reached a decision. Terra, Aqua, you both performed commendably. However... Only Aqua has shown the mark of mastery. The look on Terra's face Terra, kills me every time. He's, he's like, the what? Within you sufficiently in but she just keeps her, she just keeps, there is always this, next time. like, she don't even move. She don't even flinch, that Harley. Aqua, as our newest Keyblade Master. So this will be a little bit of things that we get to see now. Please wait here for further Some of the stuff that only happened in her perspective. Hey. I'm sorry. I also just love her outfit. The darkness. Where it's it equal from? parts powerful, conservative, functional, yet also a little sexy. What do you make of Ventus? He ain't, he ain't gonna, gonna cut, cut it. it. Somebody's, Somebody's gotta, gotta break that, that loser in. in. Not here, you won't. I have to keep up appearances. I know, I know that. that. He just needs a little incentive to leave home. Oh, freaking Vanitas. Sorry. But I need some time. I think Aqua only gets to fight him once. And that's that time I was thinking about in Neverland. I know she fights him there. And in so much as you are now Keyblade Master, you must always be conscious of What is that? The looking glass. The looking what jewel. Happened? I don't know. Why isn't Ven here? Very well then. I will send my pupils to investigate. So that's the end said, is what I'm understanding now. Yes. I understand. Farewell. That was my dear old friend Yen Sid. As you know, he is master no well, more. I'll fucking pay attention. I would have said it right there. He's a close eye on the tides of light and darkness. His counsel serves as signposts on the road we wielders of the Keyblade must walk. All the more reason then for concern, for he tells me the princesses of heart are in danger, not only from the forces of darkness, which you may assume, but also from a new. On negativity. Fledgling emotions that have taken monster form. Yen Sid calls them the unversed. The unversed. As wielders of the Keyblade, you are tasked with striking down any who would upset the balance of light and darkness. The unversed are no exception. I tried to pass this news on to Master Zaylord, 
but my repeated attempts to reach him have failed. I doubt there was any connection, and yet... Remy! I didn't realize you were How up! How are you, sweetie? Good to see you! Let me go ahead and give you a chill shout-out, because I'm thinking about Maja here. So Y'all, make sure you're checking out my wonderful friend, Rini Bunny. I mean, control. God. Like, I don't mean to sound weird or anything, but, it, it, like, literally, I'm a, real quick, like, literally, I've, even though we've only known each other for, like, what, a couple of weeks now, it's already becoming, like, a friend where I feel like I've known them forever. They're such a sweetheart. They're really talented VTuber, uh, cute pinkette bunny. Been here, just being a little goof. Oh, Spirit! Spirit! You're here! Oh, gosh, I'm so glad, because I've been worried sick about you. I've been here just being a little goop. No, you're good, Rini. Uh, yeah, Rini also loves Kingdom Hearts, but also loves Genshin and plays a lot of Stardew Valley, as you see right there. And they played Stardew Valley the other day when they raided us, which was actually yesterday, now that I think about it. <laughs> um, but yes, please, please, please give her a follow if you haven't already. I love her to death. She's so awesome. What's up, Ghost? Thank you for coming to the stream as well. How are you? Good to see you. And yo, can we just get some hearts in the chat for both Rennie? For, you know, I'm not going to go into details, but Rennie definitely um, could use some hearts for everything that she's been going through. She's been a real trooper and really strong through it, and I'm so proud of her. But also, can we get some hearts in chat for the one and only Spirit of Destiny 86, who looks like they are making a good recovery from when they've been sick the past couple of weeks. No, 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 no. You're under... Spirit, you are totally understandable. I knew what was going on, and I didn't want to tell your business out there. Um, but, I, you know, I tried to message you and just check on you, see how you're doing. And I'm so happy to see you, and I'm so happy you're feeling better. So, yeah, can we just get some hearts to both of them in the chat while I hit the applause button right quick, right here. There we go. Both of you know that you are loved, and we appreciate you so much for being a part of the Chaos Squadron and everything that you do for it. Thank you so much. I have unlocked the lanes between. You may use these forbidden pathways to travel between this world and countless others. The darkness looms closer than usual within these spaces, but your armor will protect you. Lastly, remember that order must be kept. You cannot tell anyone there are other worlds. I gotta say that I think they do a pretty good job of that with these three. Like, I don't think they really talk about the fact that they're from other worlds. They just kind of roll up, do what they gotta do, and roll out. Consider this an opportunity, a second chance for you to change my mind. What? You must know, I care for you like my own son. If I could have my way, I would name you master in a second. But how can I, when you are so obsessed with power? He is. Terra, you mustn't be afraid of losing. Fear leads to obsession with power. An obsession beckons the darkness. It is literally almost straight out of Star Wars, bro. Like, literally. Oh, he's missing his white hair. Oh, wait. <laughs> I swear, I will not fail. One good thing about me having to redo my whole freaking stream deck is at least now both the rim shot and the applause buttons are on the same page. Call it a request of the utmost priority. Yes. I told Terra this could be a second chance to show the mark of mastery. And I meant it. However, that flicker of darkness he displayed during the examination, I can sense it runs very deep. If he were to, if those powers were to prove too much for him to handle, I want you to bring him back to me at once. It's for his own good. I could not bear to lose any of you to the darkness. Of course, I would never let that happen. See, right here. I promise you, I will bring Tara back. I do like Ericus a lot, time, but he right here, to be a master. he didn't need to hide that from Tara. That would have avoided a lot of shit right there. He just straight up told Terra, now listen, you're obsessed with power. You have that darkness inside you. And honestly, I sense it runs really, really deep. You need to be careful. 
and all this kind of stuff. If he had just said something, things could have been a lot better with that. And it let uh, let him know that hey, Aqua's gonna go help out too. But like, if you get in trouble, she's gonna bring you back and make sure that you don't get overtaken. You know, just like keep him in the loop, bro. That could have that could have avoided a lot of shit. Like communication is such a big thing. I'm here to tell you. Like I I love that the more I do and like play other games and stuff like that, the more I see how simple communication would have really fixed this problem. Yeah. In any relationship, it is exactly. Exactly, Rini. It's so important. Wait, Ben. No, he mustn't. And see, right here again, if Ericus had told Ben what's you been going on that. behind the scenes, Don't he probably would have been less likely to run off. And although I do love you, Aqua, at the same time, you were standing right there on the staircase. Why'd you just let that boy just leave? You just sat there and watched while that dude just took off. Come on, honey. But you're still the best. You're still the best character named Aqua. And I want anyone to try to argue me on that. Because from what I could look, I looked it up and I was like, all characters named Aqua. And there's not a lot out there. And with all the ones that I can see, and especially out of the two that's the most prominent in media, she's the best one. Because it's always either her or Konosuba Aqua. And we already know who wins that fight. <laughs> I do love Aqua from Konosuba, but at the same time, we already know who gets that one. It ain't even a question, bro. Alright, let me go ahead and take a look at my stuff. Because I need to see what I got to work with here. What's up, Nine? Thank you for coming to the stream. All right, so that's all we got today? All right, that's cool. No worries. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, cool. Yeah, I can't wait to start melding her stuff. I think Aqua has some of the best moves in this game. Oh, I'm so excited to be finally playing her story. And I just love the fact that there's so much Aqua you get to play as in this game and spilling a little bit over into another one. So I'll just get like ample opportunity to play as her. Like I have fun playing as Terra. I have fun playing as Ventus. But like once I'm done with this scenario, like I'm I'm good. I'm kind of ready to move on. But with Aqua, it's like, no, nah, I need some more. I need some more, bro. Tara, Ven ran away from home. What? I think he left to go find you. Do you have any idea why? No. <gasps> and Actually, if Ventus had talked to Tara... Just before I left... Well, no, if Tara time. listened, because he was trying to tell him, but Tara wasn't really trying she to give him time to listen. To yes, and there you go. There you go, Tara. Exactly. So, did you manage to locate Master Xehanort? No. But it seems he's looking for pure hearts filled with light. Pure hearts filled with light? All I can tell you is that his search hasn't taken him here. All right. I'll stay and see if I can find more clues. Okay. The prince is in the ballroom ahead. He might have some answers. Thanks. Aqua. Hmm? You still have the same dream? Well, yes. There's this girl here. Her name is Cinderella. She made me realize how powerful it is just to believe. No matter how impossible things seem, a powerful enough dream will always be enough to light the darkness. Like, he had so much hope still at this point of the game. If you see her, give her my thanks. Like, damn it, Xehanort. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Like, don't get me wrong, even with all communication and everything, right. really and truly, the real problem with a lot of the shit that happens in this game is still Xehanort. Like, even with all the communication in the world, I still think shit would've hit the fan. Maybe not quite as bad, maybe Master Ericus wouldn't have died, 
but like, or at least not the way he did, but still, it's it's mostly Xehanort's fault. The communication didn't help, or lack of communication rather, but it's still Xehanort's fault. <laughs> Very absurd. Hold on, wait a minute. I'm about to use that. Yeah, Xehanort is always the one that fought facts, facts, spirit. I've missed you, spirit. I'm so happy that you were able to come back. I've been really worried. Get some cartwheels, girl. Gymnast up in here. She's the cheerleader. Also, you know, people have said that, like, Aqua's voice actor, like, isn't even trying, like, like, like doesn't give a shit. Like, honestly, now, at first, I thought it was kind of weird, the choice she went with, with how she did her, um portrayal of aqua but the more i the more i've played this game the more i've listened to it the more i realized no no there's if you really listen there is a lot of emotion to her words even if it doesn't sound like it off rip and i guess why i like it it's like it's subtle but it's there It's not six degrees of Kevin Bacon. It is six degrees of Xehanort. I mean, you're not wrong. Like, let's think about this. Okay, so there's Master Xehanort. Then there's Terra Nort. Then there's Young Xehanort. Then there's Ansem. Then there's Xemnas. Is there another iteration I'm not thinking about? No, I think that's all of them. So yeah, the damn near all they're damn near six <laughs> versions of Xehanort at one time. It's kind of crazy. I got, I'm not missing any, right? That's a Xehanort. Terranort. Uh and some feminist. Young Xehanort. Thought it was one more. No, there's not though. So almost six. Now, where am I going? Oh, over here. I know spirits back. They're feeling better. This bitch. These bitches. <laughs> Who are those ladies? Oh, if I recall correctly. That is Lady Tremaine, and those are her daughters. Ain't no lady. There was something very wrong about them. Mm hmm You came back. Huh? Oh, my apologies. I was mistaken. <laughs> Your Highness, I found this on the palace stairs. A glass slipper. One dropped by a lovely young lady, and I'll search far and wide to find the maiden to whom this belongs. Bum, 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 bum. Of course, your highness. After all, you King of Hearts. Otherwise known as if you're not sorry, you're saying nor okay, but actually <laughs> you're not completely wrong, Derko. <laughs> oh my god, you're like it, it's it's kinda funny how that's kinda actually true. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Lady Tremaine. I better pay her a visit. Oh god. Alright, I'm just gonna check everywhere just to make sure there's not any things I'm missing. Wait. Okay, I thought I saw a sparkle. I was like, ooh, wait. I have a feeling when I go back down these stairs, unfortunately, it's gonna start showing up everywhere. Hold it! Boy, the only bad thing about doing these scenarios one by one is. Man, having to start back in the beginning with power. Oh, shit. Fuck. Like, uh, I'm ready for her to be stronger already. And I know I got a while before she gets there. What's it? I was say, where'd it go? Oh, 
Oh, he dodged that shit. Also, Donkey Donkey Literature Club Plus, um, we are almost about to come up with a date of when we're going to do it. Um, it's likely going to be next month, though. I will tell you that. Go up here and find you. There we go. Oh God. Juggles. I love her spell weaver freaking command style. Especially the finisher. Get freaking wrecked. Definitely has the best finisher out of all their personal command styles. That shit is just Lady McTitty. because I knew some of y'all motherfuckers were going to show up. She can just block 360 degrees around her, bruh. Like she just got so much good shit. I forgot I was a trail weaver. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right, right round, round. You spin my head right round, right round, when you go down, when you go down, down. Remix. That's cool. Hey, look, let me get my EXP. Let me go ahead and start getting built up. I need to start looking at what all um, builds I'm going to do to get her her second chance once more and all that shit. Oh, yeah, I can use that midair. That's right. for the next batch about to show up. Wait for it. Now. Drill this fool. Thought you were gonna drill me? No, I drill you. Aqua definitely also switch energy. She can do both. She can do both. She can do both. She can be a bitch, she can be a diva, she can throw a pitch, she can play receiver, she can turn a bad boy into a believer, she can do both, she can do both. Yeah, 
No chance for you to block. You want some? actually coming over here for but sure I was hoping to find treasure not you assholes I say either way you're gonna taste my barrier either on offense or defense which one you won't yeah I figured as much I knew I should have went ahead and focused on getting my health back. I knew I should have did that. That's okay. And one thing I will say about the barrier block, which I'm pretty sure they did it just to make sure it's not too broken, is that to do it repeatedly, there's a bit of a timing curve to it, to where you can't just sit here and just go... Like, there's a point where you gotta do it if you wanna try to keep it up repeatedly. Switch between Sora and Riku, I don't mind anybody. The only thing I don't like about Dream Drop distance switching between Sora and Riku is the way they force you to with the drop meter. If not for that, I really wouldn't care. I, I would have no problem doing both of their scenarios. But the fact that I'm forced to do it and like yeah there's ways you can work around it but it's like it's it's just something that i i really feel like didn't need to be there i i really don't understand why like to be perfectly honest what i probably would have did if they didn't force you to with the drop meter i pr yeah i probably would do whichever character i like playing as more well, no, whichever character I don't like playing as more, I would go ahead and do that scenario. Then I would go do the character that I do like playing through um, for each world. So that way I wouldn't have like a difficulty spike. You know, I wouldn't like do all of like Riku and then go back to Sora and have to start from square one. I would do it in a way to where I would kind of stay at the same difficulty level between both of their playthroughs. Like, I'm beating the final boss for Sora scenario, then I'm gonna go to Riku, and I'm gonna beat Riku's final battle. And then, of course, Riku has a little bit more of a scenario anyway, so there's that. So yeah, like, if I ever had a chance to, like, talk to Tetsuya Nomura, that's what my question would be. It's just like, why the drop meter? For what reason? I don't know if they've ever... Oh, God. Like, you know what? timing like i said there's a little bit of a curve with the timing but like not even just between when you use it as a block but also what other commands there's a bit of a timing curve to where if you want to do it again immediately after doing something so you don't have a window where you can get hit and i'm kind of glad of that because if they didn't have some kind of like curve for it i'll completely too broken Yes! 
hard agree, Spirit, if it would at least not happen during boss battles. That was so fucking annoying, bro. But I think I got to the point where sometimes I would just go ahead and drop before I'm about to get into the to, to a boss. So that way I can start with a full meter and then trigger the boss. Yeah, that shit was annoying. I don't look forward to that when we get back to that game. <laughs> I do not look forward to that when we get to that game. Which I'm trying to think about it. I think after we do, um, after we finish this and a fragmentary passage and we do Kingdom Hearts 2, I think that would be the last game that I have left to replay out of the series. Unless I'm going to replay three, which I might. I don't know. I might put that up to a vote, honestly. Probably do a vote for that on like Twitter so people can see it. timing a little bit well understandable you haven't been playing it you've been focused on recovering Get none of the um special thingies. Traffic. All right, I'm going to save right quick. Mm. And move on to Lady Tremaine's house. Pretty sure we got to fight our way through that forest to get there, too. Now, I will say out of the three bosses that you fight in this um, world, I think I like Aqua's the most because it's the most creepy. And y'all see what I mean when we get there. We're definitely going to make sure we at least get that far today. Probably past that, to be perfectly honest with you. I might get it. I'm going I'm I'm to try to push to get through at least like the first half of her main scenario and try to start uh, getting some skills grinded up. Hate these things when they do that. that combo because I knew you was coming to try to be so stupid and I was like hell to the no hell no to the no 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 matter of fact hold up don't I have the yeah I still do oh hell no shit <laughs> you about to play me on some more bullshit like y'all did a moment ago just because I'm at level one Dance. 
Oh. Got me and I was done. Dead, so I gotta equip a potion thing. Alright, yeah, let me go ahead and equip that because, yeah, I, we, we, we gonna need that for a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, shit, I ain't even level two, uh, one star. I'm a level three. Where the big ones were, they always tend to stick one of them in here. I was like, Where they at? Oh shit! Oh shit! I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. That's, I, I, my timing was off. I wasn't able to shield fast enough. Damn. Sorry. R E S P A C T. Find out what it means to me. R E S P A C T. I was MVP. Oh. Shall be honored to learn a lesson. Boot to the head. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Damn it. Hey, Vinny. Thanks for letting me know you're still here. I like that you. I really like that you do that. I really do like that you do that. I should have put the freaking. You know what I'll do? I'll force him back this way, so that way I can equip the potion right quick. So what's everybody working on today? How's everybody's Monday so far? Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, should be good. Alright, I'll see if you tend to counter. Wrong one. Stab motherfuckers. Come 
motherfuckers are actually making me have to work for this shit. Still not dead? Ooh, nice try. Ugh. It's been a Monday. Yesterday I finished a rough sketch of photo in a maid outfit. Awesome! I look forward to seeing that. Stab me in the back. This is what you get. Shit. No, you don't. Man, wait till I get a freaking counter on y'all punk asses. Chill the fuck out. I knew there was one more, y'all. Nice try. See ya. Mostly I can fan me to watch why I don't set watch two episodes and it's rough. Fuck yes it is rough. I've watched all but the latest episode. God damn it's rough. Like Tiger, welcome in. Can we get a chill shout out for the wonderful Tiger Nezumi? The Rat Queen is here. She's a very talented uh, artist, both in the regular sense and also as a VTuber artist and a VTuber rigger, and is going to be my VTuber mama and papa in the future. So yes, please give them a wonderful chill shout out if you are able to. Love you, Tiger. Thank you for checking on me earlier today. I'm I'm feeling a lot better now that I'm playing this and I'm chilling with everybody here. I know my friend is gonna be okay, just, just, and it's funny you say that because Quiet on Set kind of deals with that a little bit too, where it's just like, bruh, no means no, like, that's all I'm gonna say with that, no means no. Hey, Matt, thanks for coming into the stream, I didn't know if you'd be able to make it, I know you were doing your stream today. Ah, oh, fake. Just a fake, like I thought. Hey, barrier leveling up. Let's go. Yeah, how 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 you doing, Taiga? But yeah, girls, you were right. It is, it is rough to have gotten through those four episodes. Oh boy. I mean, let me tell you, I got through it, but fuck. Like, I'm kind of glad I don't really rewatch those shows a lot because it'd be kind of hard to rewatch those shows now, to be honest. Yeah, it's still not working right. Um, even Matt did it yesterday on accident, and yeah, it's still fucking up, so. Yeah, I might as well go ahead and buy five and be done with it. Yeah, thank you for making sure. I appreciate you. Alright, let's put this other blizzard on there. Honest? You know what? Get rid of click blizz. Give, give me sliding dash. Also, let's go ahead and put that on the shortcut. Like, I heard that there was going to be a flood, but I was not expecting a dam to break, not a lane. Yeah, I know, right? Like, damn. Damn. I mean, whew. I feel for all everybody who suffers from him. For any of that. Like, some of the stuff. Like, bro, when they talked about the other two, like, two names we hadn't even heard of. I was like, are you shitting me? They had whole ass actual pedals just on the set like that. And I think one of them um, had a record. And it's like, and nobody noticed that? What the fuck? <laughs> Whew. And that other one, that, that poor little girl, 
Oh, wow. I, I mean, yeah, that shit was rough. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. If you hadn't watched it already, prepare yourself before you watch it. It is rough. It is a trigger and a half. Two triggers and a half. God damn. When I was watching it down, I was at my mom's house over the week, um, weekend after it first came out. And um, my mom had come. I was watching downstairs in her room on her TV. And she had came home and she couldn't even stomach it. She only got like maybe two minutes of the episode. I think it was on episode two or three at that point. She couldn't even stand that little bit. I went upstairs and watched the rest of it. And I hadn't even watched episode five yet because I hadn't been in the right headspace. Especially after the stuff I found out about today. Uh-uh. I wasn't in the right headspace to watch that. I appear to those who believe the dreams come true. Then I'm honored. But why would you advise me not to fight darkness with light? Strong rays of sun create dark shadows. Sadly, Lady Tremaine and both her daughters are jealous of Cinderella's charm and beauty. Now that's a fact right there. My brain was not putting two together for a hot minute, but I got it now. I got you, I got you. You can't have one without the other. Then, what should I do? It's quite simple, dear. One of Cinderella's friends is trying very hard to keep her light from fading. I want you to join with the Jacques and help him. That's right. I can get a little bit of both Tara and Ventus's playthroughs at this stage. She does Some part of it regular size and part of it mini size, and then back to regular size. I'm ready. Let's go. Like I said, no means no. Respect people and consider the fact that they are all human beings that have emotions, hearts, and feelings. Consent is everything and everything. Like that's pretty much that's pretty much covers it all right there. And I don't care if you're in the middle of doing the deed. If you're told no, stop. Just fucking stop. Are you okay? Really, I would advise for you to be able to pick up on subtle cues where the person don't even have to tell you no. You're like, hey, are you okay? You know, to open the door for them to be even easier tell you that they're not feeling all right. And sometimes people will just be like, no, it's fine, it's fine, and they're really not fine. And if you don't care enough as a human being about that other human being, you'll just keep going, and then you'll find out later, oh, shit. I'm telling you, man, you, you gotta care about people. You gotta be considerate. I see. Then, you must have just missed Terry. Can't understand why. It always fit perfectly before. The scariest part is that the environment was specifically curated to make no a worthless response. I know, I know. This is so bad. I ain't gonna say any more details on Quiet on Sessa, that way no spoilers for anybody who intends to watch it. Like I said, all I'm gonna say is, if you plan to watch it, prepare yourself beforehand, because oh my god. Especially if you've been a victim of SA, prepare yourself. No, you don't. I've seen you.
shit. Shot. I know, right? Damn. Yeah, I gotta use that press. I hate escort missions. I really do. All right, we gotta play this a little bit more careful. supposed to try to kill them all we just had to get out of there oh wow i'm sitting here trying to fight like we could just go you're the only ladies here there's no one else your grace. experience is important right Come on, yeah i gotta level up hurry, Jack. Damn. Bruh. And look at them schnoots oh, that they, that them three got. Uh, would it be all right if I tried on the glass slipper? <laughs> hmm. I met you at the palace. Unfortunately, you are not the young lady the prince is looking for. But I, I am, am a girl. girl. I should at least have given her a chance to try it on. Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? She's probably here to rob us. Mother, do something! That girl does not live here. I have only two daughters. I believe we're finished here, Your Grace. Regardless, she means no harm. Bruh. <laughs> like, we ain't gonna ask you how you got in here. There you go. Pay no attention to her. She's just an imaginative child. Madam, my orders were every maiden. That's right. You should let her go first. There you go. Thank you. I actually want to thank you. For teaching Tara, he needs to keep leaving. Oh. I keep. Let me just point out right quick. The amount of times I go over the Cinderella story for Disney, and I forget that she like trips up the dude, and the glass gets shattered, and she has the other slipper. I keep forgetting about that until it comes up. <sighs> what will I do? Bitch. Please don't worry. You see, I have the other slipper. Uh huh. Don't you feel cut? I'm gonna be honest. Minus the gross implications of the daughter's comment, the stepmother is kind of spitting. Hey, what? I must inform the prince immediately. You will come with me, of course. I'd be happy to. It's not fair. She's a scullery maid. Mother, are you just going to let them leave? No. Cinderella will be put in her place. These muffos. But they're going to get their comeuppance. I love the way they do this. What happened? Where is Cinderella? She 
Yeah, it gets well, yeah. I'm a monster in the forest. A monster? Yeah, the brothers grim. Who? Man, when you find out the way some of these stories go before Disney got their hands on it, goddamn. Let me go ahead and say it real quick because this fight right here is going to be tough. Someone shows up in my house uninvited. My response would not be regardless. She needs no home. Okay, yeah, yeah. For that, for that, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's that's like, bruh. I don't care if you do know that person. Be vengeful and shit will back you back. <laughs> yeah, I love this boss because it's a little unnerving. Especially with the way it moves. Oh shit. I forgot about that move. You gotta be real careful with this guy. Ooh, no you don't. Focus on that one because as you saw, that motherfucker could definitely drain my HP down quick if I wasn't on top of things. With how little I got to go on with Aqua right now. I was not even trying to go there. Ooh. The stress. <laughs> 
I'm gonna start looking at melding commands. So I got two blizzards right here. I'm pretty sure an E is one of the things that I want. Yep, give me Leaf Bracer. It shouldn't, but here we are. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so we got a second chance and we got it in. Or uh, F and N. It's strange. The master taught me darkness needs to be destroyed. But how? If not with light? Oh, my dear. You're too young to know. Experience more things, and you'll find the answer. Just trust in your dreams. <laughs> Trying to look for moves that I usually would use with her. I'm definitely going to get Magniga. So, I guess we can do... But Magnet... Fun check-in! <laughs> What are you up to over there, Rennie, if you don't mind me asking? I'm just curious. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Cause, oh, nope, Blizzard is not all the way leveled up yet. Damn it. I'm simply selling my soul to Scarty Valley for a corn chip. Yo, like I said, homie loves her Stardew Valley. She do be loving her Stardew Valley. Trust your dreams. I was gonna make a joke about how that goes south, but honestly, Aqua gets exactly what she wants, to be honest. She does. Can I buy Cure yet? I can. I just, you know. Hmm. How much is cure again? 150? I really need to get that shit. So, we might have to make some decisions here. Get rid of bind and slow. I guess I'll go ahead and use this one too. Alright, I think that's all the treasure that's in this world. Yay! Alright, so I really can't do much of grinding for abilities yet. And I already know that I can get a Leaf Bracer, I think it was. Yeah, E off of getting Blizzara. So we got that covered. Let's see, what other moves that I usually use with her? I just realized I never got a Sonic Blade for freaking Ventus. I completely forgot about that shit. Wow. I completely forgot about that shit. I won't forget for Aqua though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so. She can get a second chance off of that. 
Let's see. Sonic Blade, that's Blitz and Air Slide. It's mean, probably going to be a while before we get to get that, though. So I'm not going to count on that one. We could do Strike Raid. Uh, that's a, oh, that's not really going to help me. Thunder Surge. Maybe a Thunder Surge. Let's see. I can do that with Fire Dash and Thundara. And that could get me... Well, that's a Leaf Bracer. I already got Leaf Bracer plan. I'm trying to see what else is in here that might be good. I guess I'm going to have to... Workshop this a little bit. Oh, that's right. We got Cure. So when we get to doing Cura, that's an M, which can get us. Uh, that's a magic case. It's not what I want. I guess I could do a Cure boost, though. Kiraga is an N. So if we work it hard enough, we can use Kiraga, which is probably what I'm going to do to get our second chance. We just gotta figure out something for the once more. All right. That'll do for now. Also, let me look at fire right quick. So, Kira, that's an A. Also, Leaf Brace, if I can get a mad case off of that. B. B can get us once more. All right, bet, boom. That's all three. So, Furaga, Kuraga, and I think Lazara was the other one. We mailed all those, we got all those essentials. She was just as sweet as could be. She sang us pretty songs. Pretty. And made us smile. At bedtime, she told wonderful stories about falling in love with the prince she met. And when we went to work, she gave us all a kiss. She was so full of kindness. Why, she made better folk of all of us. From what you've said, she must have been very loved. But how did this happen to her? A wicked queen was horribly jealous of our dear Snow White's beauty. So she used her evil magic to change into an old hag. Then she gave Snow White a poison apple. And by the time we got here, well, it was just too late. We found the princess as still as can be. Nothing we could do but wake her. Isn't there some way we can help her? Well, not unless somebody craves the best. I'll raise the castle. All you fools can stay here doing nothing. I'm not a fear of going, not even to that witch's lair. Nah, I got this, bro. I got this, bro. It's supposed to be guarded by magic and crawling with monsters. Hmm. All right, then I'll go. You will? I will. It's stuff like this that definitely show that Aqua is worthy of the title well, Keyblade Master. We'd be much obliged. Now, I think one thing that would have been really cool, if um, when you come to this world as Aqua, that's kind of creepy, bro. Um, if you come here as Aqua because it's all sad now because of what happened to Snow White, I think it'd be cool if the music changed for her specifically. So that way, like, cause, like the song that was playing during that cutscene, I think that would have been a good overall um, song to be playing in the background, given the scenario. Cool, we already got a payback. Let's get it. We 
we get anything else unlocked in here. Nope. All right. Oh no, I guess we continue. Because of the laws of going through doorways in this game. Thank God I don't have to do an escort mission up in this motherfucker. Anyone else out here? No? Alright. There's probably a lot of y'all up in here. I can't remember. Did the trees come to life on this one for her? I don't think it do. I think that was uh, only for the Snow White escort mission. But I could be wrong. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Hmm. Hmm. That's new. Alright, can't confirm that I don't think the trees come to life. Because I feel like they would have by now. easily get juggled into death, so you gotta play it carefully a little bit right now. You don't have a lot of counter moves. Our heals are only so strong. Our health is only so much. Maybe going too cray cray right now. Gotcha. Yo, what's up, Meloshi? Or Meli Meliyoshi, I'm sorry, I said it wrong. Welcome into the stadium. Can we get a wonderful chill shout out for the wonderful Meliyoshi as well? Also, thank you for the, oh God, for following me back the other day. I appreciate you so much. How you doing, fam? What? Oh, see, there you go. Of course, of course. Holy shit, it's Sm Smelly Yoshi. I love you, my favorite streamer. What the heck? Do you know Melly Yoshi, Bayburn? Also, welcome in, Bayburn. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You suck. Oh. 
shoot at the totem. Oh shit! I went the wrong way. Uh, they very we're not doing the regular shoutouts right now because um they're kind of broken. They don't work super well. Yeah, it's broken. Using I'm in here. Oh. Well, it's good to have another Obedient friend here. Yeah, it's badly broke. Hey, how you been, Melissa? What's been, what you been up to? Oh, shit. Not wrong with having a little drink or two. Heck, to be honest, I wanted to buy some stuff the other day, but I was trying to save money because I was going out to dinner. Why do I feel like I remember something about uh, Melly drinking? Is that what the time that we met? Was it Melly was like hella drunk? I feel like it was something like that. Is something wrong? This yeah, I think that's what I remember. Different somehow. And I can't find the princess or hear her beautiful voice. Was it all a dream? Wait. You mean you know Snow you, White? You were tipped. You oh, were a little yes. spicy. We met once. It was a song that drew us together. Watch you lie on April for the first time I pressed it to watch it. Prepare yourself, bro. I'm afraid so. Talking to you and chatting you really cool. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I try my best to be. go to her. Where is she? In the woods, guarded by seven kind dwarfs. I will find her. I try my best to be. There's a way I can help. Hello, OG Soulless Prince. I mean, listen, you're not wrong. I mean, this prince was pretty freaking bland. Like, even compared to some of the other princes that came out back then. Like, I think the one in um, Super Beauty got him beat. Not by much, but still. So one of my favorite game series. Yes! I love Kingdom Hearts. I recently came back to the series. Um, I played... Wait. Smell you... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Whoa, wait, wait. Christian, you asked about my email. Yeah, I think I did. Hold up. So now there's... There's... Mel there's... Meliyoshi and Smeliyoshi. Wait a minute. <laughs> Bay just a bullet. Okay, is that that's Bay? Okay. Thank you for the follow. I have my follows on anonymous, so you don't feel pressure to talk in chat. But you are more than welcome to. I'd love to hear about your favorite food, snack, or your favorite game. But yeah, so I was playing Kingdom Hearts for a while. I played through Kingdom Hearts one again, and I played through Rechain of Memories for the first time actually, and I. Didn't hate it as much as I thought of. And um, I stopped playing at that point. And then I am coming back playing Birth by Sleep because uh, my friend that passed away last year, she also wanted to get into Kingdom Hearts. And um, I did kind of help her through, guide her through playing the first one before she had passed away. So I was like, you know what? I think now is a good time to start playing it again. And after I beat Birth by Sleep and A Fragmentary Passage, I will be going on into probably everyone's favorite Kingdom Hearts game, Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah, more power to y'all playing Fortnite. I cannot. Not gonna hate on anybody who does play it, because y'all have a good time with it, but not me. Gotcha.
Yeah, thank y'all for something about at least not being a pussy and trying to beat Yozira again, but I've been trying since it came out. I haven't even yeah. attempted that. I haven't even managed to get through the Remind DLC. Well, okay, I got through the story of the Remind DLC, but I could not even begin to do the data battles. Oh no. I was not I was I was not ready. Keep my ass every time. I mean, listen. There listen, I thought I could get there. I it's one of those things where I have to learn how those data battles work compared to the data battles in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. And I've had more practice with those, so it's just something that like I I, I was doing it, I, I was playing that game on stream and I realized that for me to be able to start doing that, I have to do a lot of work and grinding and practicing that I wasn't sure if people would really want to sit through me doing on stream. So I said that's something that I'll probably have to come back to. And I probably will. Even though I know my chat will probably be like, um, hello, we totally would. Everyone. Which key in the house game had your favorite story and why is it people by two days? Damn. <laughs> um, ooh, that's tough. I, I I think I have to say that I think my favorite story overall is Birth by Sleep, just because of the realizations that I had come up when I played through this game. Be and the reason why I say that is because I always preach people to play the games in release order because there's things you find out in this game that I, I personally feel like just won't hit the same if you haven't played the other games that came out prior. You know, some of the things that connect back to Kingdom Hearts 1 in this one, for example, or even 2, I'm just like, they just hit so good. And so I, I just really, really got a kick out of this one's story. But I still would have to say it's probably a tie for this one and... And Kena Hearts 2. Actually, I don't even know if I can say that. Because honestly, the story in Dream Drop Distance was really interesting. And even Recoded actually was kind of interesting too. There's just so much good. I, I agree. I love her fighting style. I love playing as her in general. So I'm really glad that from this point on, I'm going to have so much playing as her okay listen actually so i can agree there are there is fun to be had with rechain of memories and even the regular chain of memories now do i think it was valid to do a card system instead of just doing a regular king of hearts type of gameplay no I, I still think they'd have been better off just making it a regular Kingdom Hearts type of gameplay. But if you gotta do the cards, I can say that it was an interesting concept. And if in, if anyone who plays that game has ever been a Yu-Gi-Oh player, you will have fun playing that game on Sora's part alone because of the deck building. Because I, I can say that crafting those decks for Sora, oh my god, felt so good from my past as a duelist. But there's a lot of shortcomings that go along with that game. Okay, that was clean as fuck. Yo, did y'all see that shit? Yeah, I think it was just very different. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I feel like for general players on that game, also, I hope somebody clips that. Um, if for general people who hadn't played a card game where you had to build decks before, you're not gonna have fun with playing either version of Chain of Memories. But if you've ever played a trading card game and had to build decks, you can find some fun out of it, at least on Sor on Sora's part. Now, Riku's part, not so much because of the locked deck, but learning how to use that deck to work with you 
for doing throughout the game since you can't edit anything i think also can appeal somewhat to people who played a tcg game like Yu Gi Oh. i i do i think so like i said would i want to do it again not really did i do it on normal mode so i didn't have to freaking hate myself absolutely did but can i say that i truly 100 percent hated my time playing that game no both times because i played the original version and the um ps2 version and i didn't hate it don't want to do it again but i didn't hate it <laughs> also i think i had to do it because i think it was like a it was like a subathon thing too so i had no choice i had to do it yeah i haven't hated any of the games granted there's certain games i haven't played at all but i haven't hated playing any kingdom hearts game like hell I don't particularly like replaying the first game compared to the later games, but I don't hate playing it when I feel the need to go play it. Recom as Timo's deck builder, and I better win this duel. I mean, listen, you're not wrong, though. That is literally, which I'm glad they added that in for Riku. That did help things a lot uh, for his playthrough. I do agree with that. Yeah, the, the first game is it's a product of his time. It's a product of his time and just you know they're just starting out yeah it's old it was the first one they hadn't had a chance to refine everything yet so i don't hold it against it but it is kind of hard to go back to that game after playing the other games <laughs> it's a little hard there's a lot of things you could do in the later games you just can't do in that one it, it, it kind of be a struggle Exactly, exactly, Melly, exactly. Hard agree. Man, I love talking about this game. Why you love the Kate Kingdom Hearts 175? Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. I don't look forward to doing that fight for the gauntlet for the charity. Cause I know y'all are gonna put it on there. I'm gonna put it on there for one time. And I know one of y'all gonna pick it. I know it. I know it. I don't look forward to it, but I'm gonna do it. Oh yeah, I really do like this game. I like, especially considering this game was made for the PSP. It's like, damn. You know, and especially now that it has a bit of a remaster and everything, like it, it's it's kind of crazy to look at this game as like they fit all of this on a PSP game, kind of like Crisis Core. It it's kind of amazing. I mean, hell, even Dream Drop Distance, like even honestly, even the regular Chain of Memories, like. The sprite work and everything like people don't give credit to things that really were good on that game like the sprite work um the movement like it they did a really good job bringing it on there as far as everything but the gameplay that is and even the gameplay i have to say was like i mean it was a creative idea so they should have did that but it was a creative idea Yeah, Kingdom Hearts, I'm glad to hear that. Kingdom Hearts is my second favorite game franchise of all time. It's kind of obvious what the first one is. But Kingdom Hearts is definitely my second. And I actually got introduced to both my favorite one and Kingdom Hearts by the same person. So I'm pretty sure that probably plays a part of it a little too. All right, I think we got everything up there. Got some enemies over here. No, I don't actually. Yeah, anytime somebody wants to talk King of Hearts, this is a good channel to come to. I love this series very much. The bad part was for half a second, I actually thought, what's the first? <laughs> I 
love you, Ghost. I love you, Ghost. Spoiler alert, it's Sonic. <laughs> I love Ms. Okina Hearts, but Sonic still has my heart the most. It's funny you say that. It's kind of, um, my, um, friend, um, Slit, uh, kind of had a similar situation where she wasn't really able to play it too much because, you know, her brother. And so, you know, once she got older and was able to play her own stuff and was a streamer, she was trying to go back and play a lot of those games she didn't really get a chance to do growing up. And King of Hearts 1 was one of them. I, I'm so sad that, unfortunately, she never got a chance in her life to play the later ones. Because if she was able, she had enjoyment out of the first one, I know she would have adored the later entries so much. Especially, I really was looking forward to her playing this one. Something's not right. And that's kind of why I wanted, when I came back to Kingdom Hearts, I wanted to play this one. And I think I also took a break. From Kingdom Hearts. Because I didn't want to start playing through Birth by Sleep or Kena Harsh 2 because she had no knowledge of them. And, you know, I knew she could possibly come into my stream by raiding or whatever, and I didn't want her to get spoiled. So I think, I, 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 in fact, that's exactly why I stopped doing it. I remember now, that's exactly why I stopped doing it. I knew she wasn't gonna play Chain of Memories. We talked about that, she wasn't gonna play that one. So I was like, look, I can just kind of give you a rundown of that one or like watch the cutscenes or something. But this one in Kingdom Hearts 2, I knew she was gonna play. So I was like, yeah, no, let me not even take a chance with that. Damn, I miss Switch so much. There you are. What? this yeah that's rough <laughs> fucking hell i call myself or cartwheeling through that okay we're gonna go barrier for that one and hopefully that works Rinny, Rinny, what did you do <laughs> thank you so much for the raid get the kai raid i love it i love it oh god Welcome in, Raiders. Thank you so much for sharing your wonderful community with me, Kai. I really appreciate it. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I am Shadow Terios. I'm a variety streamer and VTuber, and I am an apprentice of Shadow the Hedgehog. I love to play Kingdom Hearts and Gitchin Impact. They're my probably two of my favorite action RPGs of all time. Uh, I do play Gitchin Impact a lot during the stream events, but it ended last week. So now we're back to Kingdom Hearts. I also love Hacker Slash, The Devil May Cry, and I love... Sonic the Hedgehog, obviously. So feel free to follow and join the Chaos Squadron. The follows are anonymous, so you don't feel pressured to talk in chat. But if you want to, go for it. And I am a 21 plus streamer because I'm not going to filter myself for anybody. And while I'm mostly wholesome, I'm not afraid to talk about lewd stuff when it comes up. Not to mention I talk about drinking. So, you know, there's that as well. Um, we are playing Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. Um, in part, in honor of my departed friend, Sweet, who passed away from cancer last year. Um, cause she never got a chance to play through the rest of the series. She only got to play the first game and having a ball with it. It's been good to come back to it. And I hope y'all enjoy yourselves here. Y'all make sure you're checking out Kai. Kai is another wonderful friend of both Rini's and Mavs playing some Fortnite. I see. Okay. All right. So there you go, babe. That's a new friend for you for Fortnite. There you go. Um, and they're really, really cool peeps. Very talented streamer. Yeah. Please check them out if you haven't already. Thank you for giving them the shout out to everybody. Um, can, did we do the other shout out as well? Uh, no, we did that one yet. Fortnite, it's fun with friends. I can imagine it. I feel like if I were to do it, if I were to play Fortnite, if I were ever to actually do it, I would only do it playing with friends. So I would go play with like Bay and Yuki and, um, Mel I, I think, I think Melly, I think you play as well. I would probably do that. That's about it. 
Oh, shit, I'm not following you, Kai. Let me follow you back right quick. I'm sorry. All right, so we are at a boss fight. There we go. Kai is a goo, but a good goo. voice too. Shit. There we go. Ah! Uh -uh. Come back here. I think I already s sniff out my gremlin energy shadow. <laughs> I'll give you some sniff. Hold on. Wait. There you go. I don't know if it came up on on my mic or not, but Ah, you cheat some bitch. Stop smiling. You know, some people complain about Aqua's voice. I like her voice. I like that her delivery, there's such subtleness to it that you can almost not pick up on her emotion, but it's there. I really do like her voice. I, mean, I like everything about Aqua, to be honest. The queen is gone, my service done. Adieu, oh, they complain about her voice. Where it's like, it seems like Willa Holler or Holland doesn't care or something like that in her performance. I was like, no, no, it's definitely there. Definitely one of my favorite characters. Same, definitely one of my favorite characters. And we're talking, we talking characters assigned female at birth or female characters. She's my absolute favorite out of all the girls in the series. They complain about Xehanort's voice? Xehanort is voiced by the awesome Richard Ekpar. There is Maybe misogyny. It could be. Yeah, it could be. I'm like, look, I fucking love Aqua. Um, this game is definitely she's my favorite out of the three. And like, don't get me wrong, I love me some Kyrie. I love me some Namine. I love me some Shion. Hell, I'll even throw Lark C in the bone. But none can compare to Aqua. Not a one. In fact, if not for Aqua, wouldn't have Kyrie. I do love Riku. No, no, listen, Riku is one of my favorite guy characters. He's so, he's so cool, and I love the character development for him throughout the whole series. I fucking love it. That's so sweet. I want to hold his hand. <laughs> I don't know, Melly. I have a feeling you want to do more than that. Hold your hand, hold his hand. So lewd. Oh, right, I don't have my lewd buttons yet. Damn. So I'm gonna type lewd in chat. Ventus, why won't you wake up? 
Oh my, how lewd. <laughs> Thank you, ghost. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Poor Ventus. You're awake. Ventus, oh, it's a miracle. Terra, Master Ericus. Ventus is awake. Also, I have to say, I, I misspoke at some point saying Master Ericus or Ericus is square spelled backwards. No, it's not that spelled backwards. It's an anagram, though. It's almost backwards, though. They flipped the Q and the U. Yeah, just not a, not a not a big As fan of this story. Journey. This th Maybe the Snow right. White that is. Because it was his time. All right, let's see if we're ready to start getting some other magic spells here. Start getting ready to meld and let Aqua's power really reign supreme. on a feeling all right we got thunder level three i don't think i have another one though you know what maybe there's a shot right there in the courtyard let's go wrong place actually no i don't think there's one over there by the by that spot actually so no what we're gonna do is we fuck it? We can go back home. Easiest way to handle this. You're just shopping here. Mogul, where's the mogul? My hair hurts because I think somehow I got hair in it when I was cutting my hair earlier. Ooh, yeah, that could do it. Where the hell's the mogul? What the shit? Maybe it's at the, the castle. Hold on. Yeah, it was. That was my bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and buy... Muggles! Muggles, 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 muggles! Alright, let's see. So... I don't think we were doing Faraga... Or, or were we? Yeah, we were. Did I just see one? Yep. I made my cat a Moogle and Monster Hunter. That's so cute. I love it. So we're gonna need two fires. Make a fire. When I get to that point, I can just make a fire or buy a fire and then level both of them up to get the Faraga. Okay. You know, I think we're good on that. Let's go ahead and buy another cure. Start working on getting us a cura. And by extension, a curaga. And then we'll be able to go ahead and get us a renewal barrier. Alright, they're not quite ready yet. You know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to do some slight, and I mean slight, grinding. My wallet has a heartless and a nobody on, but on each side. It was a gift from my BSD that's getting married. Chateau. That's where I want to go. Yeah, I want to get a new King of Hearts wallet, though, to be honest.
I was today is when I find out that Twitter 13. Wait. The Twitter 13 name himself name was an anagram for no heart. Are you talking about Xehanort's anagram? Yes. Okay, so I guess I'm only able to go in there to one time. Yeah, no heart and another. They have confirmed that both anagrams were intentional. Oh shit, I missed- oh wait, you know what? That's fake. Yeah, sure! Send away. Uh, I did send you a friend request on- oh, you, you already did it. <laughs> so yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Apparently, no gonna life first aired a decade ago. Why would you why do you do this to us? Why do you do this to us, ghost? And I say us because you're doing it to both you and me. <laughs> I thought you loved me. I had another one. Okay, sure. Why not? Put them together and what do you got? Dee 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 ba ba dee dee. Wrong way. Let's take a look. Oh my god, it literally looks like a heartless motherfucker. <laughs> That's amazing. Like, literally, it looks like a freaking heartless. Nicely done. We're done here. Alright, fire level three. We'll switch that after we kill these guys. one apparently i had three of those too okay we tanned it but i watched things change again oh you got to the oh man you got to the other one yeah that's another heavy episode very heavy episode man she's got almost all her commands full already that's kind of crazy damn they really hooked aqua up quick
Alright, we're getting there. Oh. Taking you to my bed while I lay down. Oh my. Wait, Melly, before I make this joke, like, I have to make sure are, are you comfortable with spicy jokes and everything like that? Because I don't want to make you uncomfortable. Okay. Like, then in that case, goodness, Melly, we've only met so recently and already we're going to bed together. But it's alright. I'll make it worth your while. sure you'll be fun to play with. Won't you? <laughs> I got something how got to say sort of in an episode. Yeah, sort of. I don't know if I could... I, I, I don't know what to feel about that episode, honestly. When it comes to that part of it. that right there folks chato is an example of how the the slave part that chato is how you can have an example of actually caring about people and nothing wrong with having some spicy jokes and everything like that but just making sure people are comfortable and make sure they're okay with it make sure they consent it's not hard it's really not at the worst time. I'm so sick of people that think just because people are like lewd tubers or sex workers or they're okay with spicy jokes and everything that they don't have feelings and that they can't be super uncomfortable or grossed out and disgusted. is taking a while to level up. Sheesh. Just because someone does sex work doesn't mean they are an object. They are still people working a job. Exactly. And even if they're not a sex worker, but they're just really sex positive, it's like, that doesn't mean that they don't have feelings. That doesn't mean that they're someone to not be treated with consideration and kindness. Like, you know, they're still a person. You know, make sure that you're looking out for them and making sure you actually care for them. Not just using them as an object or a toy. But he was back on that robot speak for me. He uses the pull and rob him. But his involvement is curious. It kind of applies to cares at some level. Yeah, I know, right? That's why I was like, I don't know how to feel about this. Because, like, Slay don't give a shit about her. Don't give a shit about nobody. Yeah. 
I didn't come out like making Lou Gozer sit. It's taking an invitation. It, and that's literally what it is. That's literally what it is, and I can't stand it. But I got a friend that, like, is very actively lewd on, like, their uh, Twitter and in their server and everything like that. But, like, people just want... Like, it's always clear how people only want to interact with her for her to be lewd to them and care nothing about her as a person. And I'm just like, how do you do... Then again, I'm demisexual, but still, even before I decided, before I realized I was demisexual, I'm like, how do you do that? I, 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 I can't interact with somebody like that and not care about them. You know? I've got friends that I can make the lewdish jokes with them, and I could literally make them fold in their goddamn gaming chair with uh, some jokes and comments that I can do that I know I have consent to do. But at the same time, the moment they're going through something, I'm like checking on them. It's like, hey, what's going on? What can I do to help? You know, I just had a whole conversation with a friend who, like I said, the jokes are plentiful and they they totally okay with me making them like literally fold in their chair. But they're going through a really rough time right now. And I was able to sit down with them and talk with them and check on them and, uh, and like make sure that they knew that I'm here for them. Matter of fact, I add more to it. Like when I have somebody who's comfortable enough with me to share their sexuality and their sexual side with me, I consider that a gift. I don't care what the circumstances are. I consider that a gift that they trust me enough to allow me to interact that way with them or allow me to see art of them or photos of them, lewds, news, whatever, you know, or be in stuff with them. I consider that a gift that he trust me enough and I don't intend to take advantage of it. I'll make sure that friend knows how much I care about them and how much I appreciate them for being a part of my life, even without that part. And that's just extra. Sorry, I'm kind of in my feelings about that kind of stuff because of something I found out today. You're level three. Yeah. Oh yeah, we already did two. All right, cool. So Kira, stop venting now. Sorry, y'all. So, I guess I'm gonna go for a magic case. If I even can. Magic case, that would be fleeting. I do have fleeting. Let's do it. If you want magic case, especially playing as Aqua. Those were jokes. Lord. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, and Fyra. That's A. So, I guess we'll go ahead and get... You know what? No, we're gonna get an HP boost on that one. So, that's what? Soothing? go back to the outside and go to the mobile shop. I want to go ahead and buy another Cura and another Furaga. Or <laughs> Furaga. Fura. It's like I'm working on getting Furaga.
Vinny Rooney. But that was funny. Don't worry, we love you, Bay. Oh no. I'm sure Melly has a reason. People get busy, people have lives and other things to do. They have, oh God, have jobs and other stuff. But the damn, called you out, bae. I don't know, bae, don't you want them to put it on you? <laughs> Also, Melly, remind me again. What are your pronouns? I'm pretty sure they were she, her, but I want to make sure. Uh-oh. They're, they're ready to stab. All right, go ahead and buy another one of these. Damn. Mm. Any pronouns? Okay. No, you don't. You know what? I never use these. Fuck it. Or those. Usually they she more though. Hey, would you have to be? Would you happen to be non-binary by any chance? Just out of curiosity. That'll work. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna put quick blitz on here. Yo, non-binary fam, let's go. I'm also non-binary. The work. Good question. I think you have a great voice for that kind of work. I'd work with you on that kind of stuff. I right, have a good night, Kai. Thank you so much again for the raid. I got you with a shouty on Twitter after stream. You do have a Twitter, right? No, it is not. The lies you tell, Melly. We literally just heard. What? No. We literally heard your voice a moment ago. My entire chat will argue with you. I'm gonna get you, baby. I'm gonna get you, yes, I am. I'm gonna get you, baby. I'm gonna get you, yes, I am.
Did I miss anybody? Yep, apparently I did. I didn't mean to do that, but it's fine. I didn't know that, actually. That is pretty interesting. bro all right you know what we're gonna do we are about to go long way around so i don't have to fight anybody we're about to go to the snow white's world so we can get harder hitting enemies cottage clearing let's do that one Ooh, I missed the treasure chest. Whoops. Give me that shit. What's in it? Poison! 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 Okay, by the time we cross through all of this, we gotta be able to go ahead and get some more melding done. I know there's more out here. Oh, you cheap motherfucker. Damn. close. Hey, where am I yet? I know they ain't 
That's is that it for real? Uh uh. I guess it's scared. That's the one where that came from inside. I didn't realize the quick blitz like literally seemed to me to whatever I'm targeting. But that's good to know. Like it's a really good move in order to cover some ground. I forgot about Super Monkey Team Hyper Force Go. What? They're Kevin Eleven and Gwen Tennyson? Wow. I did not realize. God, Mr. Long, stop watching anything Ben 10. Yeah, it makes sense for the team versions. Yeah, I don't think they would have been able to pull. I mean, they probably could have, but. All right, where the rest of you? Come on, get your lickings. There you go. See how we're looking, Lazara. Shit, I don't have another one. Okay, so then I guess I need to keep at it and. Then I go buy another one. I think I can access one in here. Or not. Well, I thought I could. I was very much wrong. That one caught us clearing. All right. Oh yeah, I need to get magnet. Hold on, let me.
Yeah, Aqua's the one time where I'm okay with having mostly, um, mostly magic because it just it makes sense. This is Aqua we're talking about. Funny because in Ultimate Alien, they meet a young Ben and Tara Strong reprises her role, but that's as close as we get to the OG voices of them for the main trio. Interesting. Thank you for checking in, Rini. I appreciate you so much. You're such a sweetheart to keep letting me know that you're here. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What else can I meld here? Quick blitz and sliding dash. What does that get me? Hold on a second. Does that give me strike raid? It does get me strike raid. Oh, yeah, no, give me that shit. Hold up. Attack haste, you already know what it is. Give me that shit. Pretty sure that's fleeting. Yes. Always get a strike raid. It's one of my favorite attacks in all Kingdom Hearts. Never get tired of that shit. What else can I meld? Shit. Why are you selling this then? I can't use nothing else. Oh yeah, right. Let me also see where my numbers are at. Kira is almost level th both of them are almost level three actually okay cool so let's do another run actually you know what no i'm sure it's kind of boring to y'all you know what we're gonna do we're gonna try something else liven things up a little bit here it is time for Aqua to enter the arena. Yeah, they level up pretty fast typically when I do these. Riggedy Rat! Tear him up, Aqua Baby! Far so good. Oh, there's fire already. that button. Get over 
over here. As I slowly descend with my with my with my beautifulness, like hit him with the spell weaver as you just drop down from the sky, Aqua. Get over here! Right into it, I see. Yep, this boss. Oh, I was holding down the R1 button on accident. Have some more bubbles. You look like you could use a bath. Oh shit. But that was close. Sword from Kingdom Hearts himself. Welcome in. so bad <sighs> and got the bonus let's go all right let's see how our stats are looking fire is already ready damn that was quick Here is almost ready, but this is the. No, it's still the first one. Shit. Okay, okay. I guess we'll do the next one then. Is it six minutes? Then we can do that. Nice, D Link. Wow, that was way 
with it. Shields aren't gonna help you now. All right. Kira's ready to be switched out. Oh, you have cake? Oh, lucky. What kind of cake do you have? Or do you mean a star do you? y'all enjoy yourselves here tonight i appreciate y'all being here it has been a day so i'm really happy to have y'all here mm -mm, no you don't Come on now. There you go. Yeah. 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 Aqua would knock me out if I asked very nicely. I think she would say no, to be perfectly honest. Just knowing Aqua. She only knocks out what needs to be knocked out. I don't think she would consider you a part of that group. Okay, you need it, but does, is it best for the world? It's how she would probably look at it. Mark and Matthew do sense it's violent. She didn't. But I, still, I feel like even being more uh, femme dumb, she would be very... She wouldn't be hardcore about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, she's very nice and kind. Exactly. 
she wouldn't be into beating our you know she wouldn't be into being a sadist she wouldn't be into um degrading or anything like that Get out close though, what you want, what you want? Get all that. I can't believe that freaking strike rate actually stunned him. Oh, and got more health off of it. Let's go. Really? I didn't do it. As wow. I don't look strong enough. All right. Wait. I already do out of Blizzara. I did not. Go ahead and put that on there. We're almost there, y'all. It's kind of a spoiler since we haven't gone to this world yet, but we're going to do it anyway. I really want to get that second chance at once more. Should get too dangerous until you have them. If 
need to go ahead and get some rest, I totally understand. It is getting late. I don't know what time zone you're in, but it's like 12.33 here. The only reason why I'm not going to bed yet is because I know I'm probably not going to get called into work that early. Oh my goodness. You are overseas. Okay, you can play with me so I can fall asleep whenever. Oh, that is so sweet. I'm glad to know that I'm not too much to where somebody can't go to sleep. Even when I'm a little bit more on the NSFW side, I still try to be comfy, even with that. Okay, alright, I, I feel you with that. I will probably would too. So I don't want to stay puff marshmallow man will come up. Stay puff will pull up and be like, you wanna like my stuff?
Yeah, I guess you will be crossing the streams, huh? Thankfully, those naughty cat girls would be totally okay with it. They like crossing streams. as well. That was close. Still got that damn thing? Man, I forgot how much health they give him in this version of the fight. Shit. 
Give it up, my dude. Done. See ya. I think I might have been a little under level for that. That's probably why it took so long. Alright, let's see how we're looking. Fucking damn. We are still. All right, I guess we might as well go ahead and go to the next world because we are not getting through that. We are not getting that Fyra up or that um, Cure or Cura. Like the game knows I'm about to get second chance and once more. So it's stalling that stuff out because I think I should have hit it by now. But whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. It bothers me. It bothers me a lot. And that one's still green. Champion's my magic. I've heard a little piggies went to the market, but this is ridiculous. You're all going to die down here. That's hilarious that you find sleep in the treasure chest in this world. That's fucking hilarious. Whatever developer, whatever part of the development team that put that in there, I commend you. I commend you like I commended the person that boxed lunch on Sunday that had a figure of Sanji and Frieza both freaking. I think it's starting to scare peaches. <laughs> Because somebody in there had like a um no way Tara would hurt somebody like that. You don't believe me? A figure of Sanji from One Piece so and Frieza from Dragon Ball Z freaking JoJo posing. Ben, don't be fooled. And I was like, somebody did this on purpose. <laughs> Tara would never do that. You know that as well as I do. Yeah. Ah. Oh. 
The truth can be most cruel, even amongst the closest of friends. After all, one never knows the secrets of another's heart. I'm sure you'll agree, Ventus. Aqua. <laughs> That's interesting news. The master sent me. Also, Rena, y'all are in call right now. Tell people I said hi. Let's go home. Or that she can she can come through if she wants. Hera's not ready to leave yet. I think I heard that. Yeah, it was beautiful. Sorry, Aqua, but I can't go with you. What? It's just I have to find him before it's too late. Ben, I see you too wield a keyblade. How do you know about the keyblade? A source of power. A key that opens the hearts of men, of entire worlds, and allows one to obtain anything and everything. Such a power I find most fascinating. So, Hera, he really? Yes. Now, my dear, would you like to assist me? Oh, again? man, you got the wrong one here, Maleficent. Never! I see. Xehanort was right. You are a most stubborn girl. Master Xehanort, how do you... I want to come across it, he seems to have one. You yeah. Need time to consider my offer. Fortunately, I have the perfect place. I don't remember that part. Stuck that landing, though. Who are you? My name is Aqua. It looks like I was caught in a trap. Why are you here? To prevent me from breaking her evil curse, I was to meet the most beautiful girl at a cottage in the Glen. But now my true love lies in an eternal slumber, and only I can break the spell. You must really love her. Is what you said true? Yes. Maleficent told me. Oh, Prince Philip, it's you. She's my favorite Disney villain, but she's definitely a villain that you love to hate. Now, Philip, the road to true love may be barred by many more dangers, which you alone will have to face. Like, she's an awesome villain, but that's but you you don't like the villains. Know, and Maleficent has the answer. Yes, of course, dear. Now come along. We must hurry to Aurora. Give me that. She is a meanie. I mean, anybody that would put a spell on a baby to where they're going to die one day when they prick their finger that, just because they didn't get invited to a party, that's, that's pretty fucked up. <laughs> Go ahead and buy another one of these because I'm gonna need that later. I'm gonna buy another one of those. I'm gonna need that later. I'm gonna buy another one of those. I'm gonna need that later. Go ahead and buy that because I'm gonna need that later. All right, we good. Save again. Oops. Probably after we finish this world, I'll probably go ahead and call it after that, because then we'll be heading into Radiant Garden, which is a good uh, start-off point when we come back. Things really start getting interesting. We got sitting. He was sitting here like, man, you heard about this one girl that's rolling up in this castle, whooping all of our butts? And we need to be on guard. Oh god, there's shit! Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you. Oh! Oh! Especially came out and stuck me from behind. 
You nasty. Let's get it. Who I'll listen to once you leave. Oh, oh no, yeah. That's really sweet. That stab like freaking Tom Berries. Not like Tom Bear, because if they were stabbing like Tom Bear, is that shit hurt, would hurt like a motherfucker? jump for her. Confusion strike. You want some more? Defying gravity, baby. I'm so glad to make it to where now you can actually open up the treasure chest, even in battle. I did, yes. I have a, um, a friend of mine in Rini's, Mav. That is going to be um, making me um, making my model to where I can actually use it in VR chat, so I'm more willing to play it. Mad both play it quite a bit. Yeah, I'm excited for it. I'm gonna try to keep it under control for me, but we shall see. I'm also be only going in there to hang with them whenever they're on it. Anything up here? Yup.
That sounds like them. Rini, how many hours do you have in VR chat? Dare we even ask? Oh, well, look at that. Got the high jump. It's like the developers heard me. All right, so fire should be ready. Well, spring. Let's go. Once upon a time, I dabbled into it. Nothing wrong with that. Akira's not quite there yet. Also, I'm gonna go switch out this magnet. Sounds interesting. Welcome back. There, I like sleeping on there sometimes. That's cute. You're so cute, Melly. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I forgot Fyra has that knockback. From what I understand, I'm good at making people blush. That's just because I'm honest. here too I'm looking for all the trip there that was easy Seen you charging up. Not gonna give you the chance. This ain't Dragon Ball Z. This ain't a Shonen. Go on backwards. about the water cup of Vegeta arc, right? That's, um, super, right? I do love how they got Brian Drummond to, to play the other Vegeta. I was like, yo, way to bring it full circle. I like it, I like it. That was kind of cool. Both voice actors in the same anime. Amazing. Yeah. 
Oh yeah? I, I, I love Vegeta too. <laughs> That's a lot of thorns. Maleficent, what did Master Xehanort tell you? Such a pity, child, that you don't have Terra's gift for obedience. Maybe I'll go ahead and do Radiant well, Garden. You see how easy it was for him. I'll see. Terra would never do anything to help you. Quite the contrary. He fully embraced the darkness within himself. Stop lying! See for yourself all the powers of hell! <laughs> I love that they still have her say that in here. Thankfully, this fight with Maleficent Dragon won't be nearly as hard as the original game. I don't think. Her health ain't nowhere near as hard. I don't remember this. Kingdom Hearts 2 throwback? How you feel? How you feel, motherfucker? It's the power of true love that defeated you. I will not be defeated by something as insignificant as love. You don't even know the first thing about it. You're too clouded by darkness to see that there's something greater. Try all you want, but you'll never defeat a heart filled with light. Perhaps. But remember one thing. As long as there is light, there will be darkness. And in time, many more will be drawn to it. And they will all belong to me! <laughs> Tara, we 
better stay strong for me. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. Kind of give a little on that one. The only thing I can do with her on. Yeah. Plus, you know, what we know that comes 10 years later. Alright, let's take a look at the menu. Kira is still not all the way up. Sheesh. Mm. Oh no, it's already one ten. I should end. I did really want to get that Kira done. Actually, wait, let me check something. Damn. I was hoping maybe it will let me go ahead and do it. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should go ahead and end, though. Much as I want to keep going, and I really want to keep going, we probably should go ahead and rest up. The most powerful of the Kirby's. Yeah, I think we should go ahead and end. It's like 1.11 in the morning. <sighs> and I do have to work tomorrow. <sighs> and even I... Could use a little bit of rest. Um, so yeah, we're probably gonna go ahead and end and get ready to raid out. So let us go ahead and take a look at who we're going to raid. Thank you everybody for coming to hang out tonight though. I really appreciate y'all. This was a lot of fun. Oh, is Kyle come back on? Oh, well, yep, that's where we're gonna go then because we haven't been there in a minute. That, oh, excuse me, not to mention the fact that pretty much anyone else that I was going to consider raiding is not even on right now. So there you go. So let me just close these windows right quick. Yeah. There's on, sweets is on. Hell even melon is on. Senate is on. Well, everybody's up in here. My pleasure, y'all. Thank y'all for being here tonight. Yeah, we're gonna raid, and yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and raid Calico, who is playing Stardew Valley, but um, as y'all know, Calico, a very dear friend of mine, uh, definitely is a big aficionado. Gosh, she's still a, they're still at 55 hours. They're never going to get they're, this. This return of thought is never going to end. <laughs> um, there's a big variety thing. Nice, 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 nice. But uh, yeah, they're doing their return of thought. They haven't streamed in a very long time, so they have been streaming like crazy, and. So they're basically making up for the entire time they hadn't been streaming in one fell swoop. And while normally they've been playing Kingdom Hearts, the what's up streaming with the rapture happens, yeah, literally. Um, they're a big Kingdom Hearts fan, which is why they've been playing Kingdom Hearts 2, and they finished it. And I guess they're taking a little breather for right now. But they know so much when it comes to the background, the behind the scenes of Kingdom Hearts. So if you like Kingdom Hearts, they're definitely somebody you should consider following. And they're a very, very good friend of mine. They're also a mod in this channel. And their return -a -thon is allowing you to be able to continue the timer for damn near anything. Follows, raids, subs, um, bits, you name it. It probably will add to the clock. Uh, she, They've been doing this since April 1st, actually. And the timer has still 
55 hours on it if that tells you anything and it pauses when they stop stream so yeah definitely stick around for that raid and support them i really appreciate it as spirit said right there the first raid message is if you are not subscribed to me the second raid message is if you are subscribed to me and consider subscribing because it does help out the channel and it helps me out it helps you out and that you don't have to worry about any ads and of course you also get the uh, i almost said badges the sub emails created by my wonderful and talented friend chiki vanilla such a great artist and yeah i'll see y'all on the next stream where we will continue our way down aqua story remember the name because where there's light there's shadow terios chaos is power thank you all for being here tonight my pleasure to stream for you all and I'm out of here. See you later. For those of you who are new to the channel, we always end with a good hearty chaos control in honor of my teacher, Shadow the Hedgehog, and to teleport to the next streamer. Catch you next time, y'all. Take care. Oh, I'm glad I'm excited to end. I forgot. I still got to do my kitchen dailies. Ha <laughs> ha. Chaos control.